allocators adoption. How are allocators themselves using AI? In sourcing managers? Yes. Portfolio monitoring? Yes. Risk aggregation across yes. funds? All three of them unequivocally. I think personally one of the biggest advantages, the hedge fund space is $5 trillion in AUM in about 10,000 hedge funds. It's an awful lot of stones to turn over in terms of finding the ideal funds. The majority of those 10,000 don't justify their fees, and it's really hard to meet 10,000 funds per year, and so AI can be exceptionally beneficial as it relates to that. I would also say the monitoring process is hugely beneficial. The ability to scrape a quarterly letter and to get the most salient points that might historically take three hours and does it in 10 minutes, you just saved yourself two hours and 50 minutes. So like that, those two parts, the risk management, the portfolio construction, I think that's where the biggest benefit is. However, I would say it's probably more beneficial to someone with a little bit more experience that can understand and can decipher whether or not the machine is saying something that just doesn't make sense or can question the output to associate with it. But I, I think it's a, it's a big advantage. It's certainly not going to er erode our roles in, as an allocator, but it's a huge benefit. Yeah, I think just to add on what Matt said, one of the biggest advantages as an allocator is just uh, document intelligence. The way you could use uh, natural language processing to just help evaluate thousands of uh, materials and documents so much faster. So it's certainly a very important tool in manager screening. It's also, you could use it for clustering the factor risk, for mapping all the portfolio risk compared to other portfolios, just text analytics. It's just uh, countless uh, things. I think it's really the next frontier in its applications in finance and investing is within the allocator space. Yeah, I would second some of what Jackie and, and Matt just, just pointed out. And then if you think about the day-to-day the -day in the allocator space and with hedge funds in particular, there is a, a big part of it is, is the synthesis of quantitative or numeric information with qualitative or, or, or notes or things like letters. So scraping those documents is, is enormously helpful. There's also, I mean, all these automated sort of note takers and, and ways to store down information that way, powered by AI today. The way that we store that and the systems that we use to, to categorize and then to, uh, to keep track and record all that information and make that searchable, uh, that's also something that's, that's benefiting from AI and saving I mean, the leverage it gives to our analyst team just in, in that process when it comes to monitoring, oversight, the initial underwriting. We're also, you know, you're, you're cutting down on the, the time uh, spent there also by just a huge percentage. I don't want to you know, come up with an outrageously large number, but it is just the leverage is incredibly it's, impressive. Especially for hedge funds. I can recall moving from public markets to private markets where everything's registered. You can go on Bloomberg and get an SEC filing for any company. Like you can't go anywhere and find good data on a hedge fund that expansive. There's not an index that covers everything. It's just incredibly fragmented. And AI is almost perfect in that respect for the industry.